taskmaster, are this the best you could find from the land? <laughs> Okay, okay, hold up a second, guys. It might seem as though that this Gouda Ultimate search show, yeah, it's gonna be more dramatic than Big Brother Niger. Because what did I just watch? I mean, tonight was episode three, yeah, of the season 12 of the show, and the contestants they just spent the first night in the jungle and they're already fighting. And it's not even a small quarrel. Guys, it's a big problem. It's a big issue. Hey, my God. You know what? Just watch to the end of this video because a lot actually happened. You know, we're all complaining that, oh my God, the show is going to be boring. Nothing is happening. Guys, a whole lot happened on tonight's episode. So please watch to the end of this video as I give you guys the full factual and accurate detailed analysis of every single thing. Let's start. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this right here is Frank Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. Now I know that all of you cannot wait to hear what actually caused the fight tonight but don't worry I'm going to be spilling all the tea because a lot of things actually happened and you will not understand how it went down if I do not tell you all the events that preceded the fight all right now first of all from the first episode we saw how the 18 um, contestants were running towards the jungle getting clues from civilians commuters around the community where the jungle is located and um, from getting all the clues they were able to find their way into the meeting point of the jungle where they finally met the host of the season and the taskmaster i'm talking about toke makiwa and kunle remy guys toke makiwa blew me away on god i was watching her saying a lot and in my head i was just thinking like oh my god this is a lot of work <laughs> it's a lot of work for those of you that understand how productions of such kind of shows go you would agree with me that it would take a lot of memorizing for the Kimaki Wat to gather all those things that she has to say in her head and sometimes also freestyling, improvising. I just want to say a huge thumbs up to the Kimaki Wat. She's already killing it. And guys, to be very frank with you, when I heard that she was going to be the host, when she was announced by the organizers, I actually felt that we were only going to be seeing her probably um, at the introduction of the show, just like Ebuka does for Big Brother Ninja, and um, probably um, during eviction of the contestants as the show proceeded. But guys, I was so impressed and blown away to see that she was literally carrying the show's anchorage on her shoulder. Yeah, I mean, that's the right word, right? She's literally the anchor, like carrying the show kind of guys in fact yeah, that was my pride moment my shoulders were just high the crux of the matter of tonight's episode of gouda ultimate search is that the contestants the 18 contestants have finally been divided into three clans right so we have amor iri and iroko so remember from the very first day before locating their way into the jungle they had all been instructed to pick a lamp each to form a team so from the lamps that they picked they were able to form um, the blue team the yellow team and the red team right now um the blue team tonight are um the amo clan um the yellow team are the iri clan whilst the red team they form the iroko clan right i mean clan is the word that they used to describe the group of um, contestants for every season of the show playing the game in those different groups now aside that okay makiwa and um kune remi took out time to give um just a brief background into the show to the contestants they told them what to expect they told them to most importantly listen pay attention because that is actually what really helps every person that comes on to participate on the show for every season you listen well and it takes you that far in the show but guys it turned out that some people actually do have a problem with listening and i will share more of that as the video proceeds but aside that the contestants received their survival kits which comprised of their bags their boots and their sandals guys they were also advised 
to take off every single element item of luxury now luxury could mean different things to anybody but in goda ultimate search in the jungle luxury means anything that you do not need in the jungle right so they were instructed to remove their wristwatches their jewelries their outfits anything that should not be in the jungle their fancy slippers their fancy face caps and their fancy jackets they removed everything whilst the proper jungle kit was given to them now in the course of the contestants picking up their named um, survival kids guys it happens that one of the contestants lost a shoe not by his own doing but because the shoe was not present the Omoya was the name of the contestant that lost one of his sandals right so it turned out that um, each of the survival kits was named after each of the contestants but sadly Omoya's um, sandal one of his sandals was not together with the bag so dude had to wear one sandal whilst the other feet was bare all the way into the jungle now one of the contestants i think um, Chilima, was advising him that oh probably the previous place where they were standing she saw a sandal but omaya was actually scared because of course i mean this is the jungle you don't know what's going to happen you alone cannot go all the way back to go and look for that sandal so he said well it might be a strategy of someone to slow him down and he's, he's not going to take the bait so what he's going to do is he's just going to brave it and wait to see what's going to happen guys the gist is that just might be a lot more to Omaya's missing sandal. Let's watch out because something tells me that more stories are going to come out from that missing sandal. And before the contestants actually got their survival kids, they had been instructed by their instructors, yeah, the host and the taskmaster, to pick up a food item that their team would need. So each contestant was advised to pick one after the other in 20 seconds. Now, Tokema Kiwa actually gave them 10 seconds, but the taskmaster had to plead on their behalf for 20 seconds, and so they got it. And in the course of them getting the food, they spilled the bean. Yeah, literally. They spilled the bean. Yes, like a lot of beans, actually. And so that kind of infuriated their host. That's Tokema Kiwa. And I love the fact that she took out a bit of time to explain that, listen, there are millions of children out there in Africa who are hungry, who do not have food to eat, so you cannot afford to actually waste food. Guys, I loved when Tukema Kiwa said that, and I wished that they actually said that to those annoying baby Niger children because those children used to waste food a lot. But then, um, to put the icing on the cake for me, Tukema Kiwa actually mentioned the show proceeded. She and the taskmaster would figure out a punishment suitable yes to teach them a lesson about wasting those beans that they actually spilled and guys i am totally looking forward to what that punishment is going to be i hope they pull it through and not forget it now the contestants went into the jungle and by the time they got to um the, the space of their abode yes they had made provisions already of different building materials for them to construct their own camp now, it was at this point of constructing their camp that there was a lot of animosity, there was a lot of argument, there was a lot of I too know how, there was a lot of, oh, I am overthinking, I know what to do, blah, 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 blah. One interesting thing about shows like, you know, Good at Ultimate Search is you're going to see a diversity of personalities, different people from different walks of life, people who believe that, oh, people need to hear their own words, you know, to get things done the right way, people who believe, okay, it's okay to give everybody that opportunity to express themselves and you know do what they want to do and so we had one particular contestant that <laughs> felt as though <laughs> some people were not using their thinking faculties and already the argument was already brewing i'm like hmm, we definitely need to keep an eye on this dude and so guys in the course of building they kind of mixed up the whole thing but i don't know i feel like kunle remy is kind of very very nice to the contestants because you know he was in season seven he has experienced the jungle so he understands how difficult it could be and so he was kind of very very nice to them by giving them tips because guys on all the woods all the building materials it had actually been labeled and tagged by the organizers of the show that okay this is what you use here for the left for the right for the roofing for the base but sadly these people were just i don't know if it was over excitement or nervousness i don't know or anxiety at failing the task because setting up their camp was actually their first task of the season 
that they were supposed to do collectively. Yes, as a team, as a group, but not as different clans. But then, guys, they were messing it all up, and then Kuneremi came into the picture and corrected them, and that was how they were able to do it. Now, moving on to the epic fight of the season, the first epic fight of the season. Wait, now let me ask you, with a bad fight, we carry out our for this side to make reflection of light in the Okay. That's where it focus, right? Okay. Then, now, if carrying that light out to the past, that place, that's what we're going to do. So, Everybody was tired. Everybody was exhausted. They were able to cook yam, but guys, they realized that they did not have salt. And so some of the ladies decided to go and have their bath as they were using a lantern, you know, to find their way around um, the camp. But guys, it happens that the place where the ladies went to have their bath, right, that was the exact position that was kind of a pathway for people to pass. And so Omoya, I don't know if it's Omoya, let me not name names because it was kind of dark and I didn't see the face of the person that was talking. So Omoya had carried his lantern and was going to pass that place and the ladies got mad. They were so angry that why is it that it is now that we choose to have our bath that you decided to come and carry our lantern away and pass you know so from what the ladies were saying they were kind of insinuating that whoever that person was that that person was a perv like what what are you trying to see but the person was claiming right you know standing on this ground that you cannot be having your bath in the pathway where we are supposed to pass how do you expect people to pass you know i wanted to go and fetch water but you guys were actually having your bath in that spot, you know, so guys, that was what infuriated Chidima and the argument started. But to be very frank with you all, Shao, guys, in as much as I didn't like the fact that we were quarreling, kind of enjoyed it because listen, this is the kind of drama we're looking for. And listen, even though this is good at Ultimate Search, Come on, what is a reality TV show without some drama? This is the kind of content that we signed up for. And do you know what I'm loving about the show already? It is the fact that the contestants are very, very natural in their natural element in a natural environment. These people were not looking at the cameras to be angry, to be upset, to be reacting. Guys, they were exhausted, they were tired, and so it was inevitable that what happened about the ladies having their bath and the guy passing was going to cause a problem. Guys, I knew instantly that they were going to fight, and I loved it. And I am looking forward to more of that. I don't know about you, but guys, go ahead and let me know your thoughts about tonight's episode in the comment section below. I would love to know your reactions. I would love to know if you enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you guys on another episode of Frankie Speaking with Glory, Elijah. Have an amazing night rest. Bye.